At one moment, the Quran refers to its own revelation as "Inna anzalnahu fi Laylatul Qadr." That we have revealed it, meaning the Quran, on the night of Qadr. Inzal is used. Another verse in Surah Isra again refers to the revelation of the Quran, but in a different Arabic verb. It says, "Wa Quran an faraqna li taqrahu ala nas." That we reveal the Quran in portions so you can read it to the people. Ala muqthin, read it slowly, read it in portions, read it in, de- in degrees. Nazalnahu tanzila. We revealed it in a tanzil portion, meaning what? Degree by degree, portion by portion, little bit by little bit. In one area, inzal is used. In one area, tanzil is used. What's the difference? Inzal is an immediate revelation, all at one time. Tanzil is a gradual revelation. We know there's a whole discussion in ulum quran that talks about the idea that is the 27th of Rajab the first revelation or is the night of Qadr the first revelation? Which one is it? We have just celebrated a month ago or so the jashan of the ba'asat of the Holy Prophet, correct? In that moment, that was the revelation in the cave of Hira of the first five verses of Surah Alaq, correct? We accept that in the Shia madhab as the first revelation of the Quran. Others may not. At the same time, we also accept in anzalnahu fi laylatul qadr that surely the Quran was revealed on the night of Qadr. So the kids ask, which one is it? Is it Rajab? Is it the month of Ramadan? Whole discussion in the Quran. Bath has been done, pages has been written. And Alama Taba Tabai Rahmatullah Alayh has a very beautiful reconciliation of these two discussions. He says it was both. One was a Vahiri revelation, one was a Batini revelation. One was an apparent revelation, one was an internal revelation. Meaning what the Prophet of Allah on the night of Qadr was revealed all the sciences and the ulum and the beauty of the Quran in one shot. Anza, Inzal. Across 23 years of his prophethood, he was also revealed the apparent Qur'an in a tanzil portion. My point of all this is, the Qur'an itself is telling us the Qur'an has to be implemented inside of our lives in a very stage-by-stage, portion-by-portion idea. It's not just about reading one juz a day. You do it, alhamdulillah, that's great. The lawat of the Quran is highly, highly recommended in this month. At the same time, if you can spend a little bit of time on translation, then it will be a really fruitful month. I told Jawadi Amali, may Allah protect him, give him a long life. He has a very beautiful discussion, and I'll end with this, inshallah. He says that when it comes to preparation of our imam, he says there are many things to do. One thing that we know for sure is that the constitution of the 12th Imam will be the Quran. No surprises there. He will lead his divine government using the Quran as a constitution. And Ayatollah Jawadi says very beautifully one of the most beautiful things that we could do in preparation for the Imam is that before that government, applies its constitution, you begin to allow the Qur'an to govern you and your family before the arrival of the Imam. Meaning before he brings his constitution, make it already a constitution inside your life already. Such that when that transition happens from us and post zuhur of the Imam, it's a seamless transition. Remember, we're waiting for life under the Imam. Not just this bang of a zuhur. We're waiting for the fact that we're going to live, inshallah, if Allah gives us hayat, under his hukumat. That requires a lot of sacrifice from us in the West. A lot of change from us in the West. Let's begin that change now. It's the month of Quran. Many of you have a beautiful habit of reciting one juz of the Quran. I've heard that people recite you know, several Qurans a month. It's amazing. It's amazing. So much sawab. But if we can apply a little bit of the meaning and the mafhum of a few verses, our lives will change, the lives of our family will change. And slowly but surely now, our four-wall government inside of our home, four or five of us, its constitution becomes the Qur'an itself.